Hello, math experts. Welcome to Learning with Miss Sam. And I'm going to teach you a very important meal lesson about place value to the billions. What do we need to know? That every single number in the universe is made out by digits. And what are the digits? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And if you arrange these digits in different order, you can make a little, medium, or a humongous number. Now we're gonna see a number to the billion. We have this huge number. Do you even know how to read it? If you don't, I'm gonna teach you how. As you can see, these numbers are divided by periods. So it's one, two, three digits, comma, one, two, three digits, and a comma, one, two, three digits, and another comma. Each group of three digits are called a period. We have the ones, the thousands, the millions, and the billions. So now, how do we read this number? Well, let me tell you something. Each one of these commas has a name. Like, I am Miss Sam, and maybe your name is Daniel, Jesus, Banks, Ayla. Well, each one of these commas has also a name. The name of this comma is thousand. And you can start taking notes so you remember how to use this information for your first assignment. The name of this comma is million. And last but not least, the name of this comma is billion. And now we're gonna read the number together. This is how you do it. You're gonna start by the number, then you say the name of the comma, then you read this number, the name of the comma, you read this number, the name of the comma, and to finish up, you read this number. It's pretty simple if you think about it. So let's start. I'm gonna read it on my own, you're gonna listen, and then we're gonna say it together. Five billion, six hundred fifty-five million, two hundred and thirty-three thousand, eight hundred and forty-eight. Now, let's say it together. Five billion, six hundred and fifty-five million, two hundred and thirty-three thousand, eight hundred and forty-eight. Is it that simple? Now, you read it on your own. I'm now that we know how to read a number, we're going to see the place value of each one of the digits. We're going to start always from right to left. So here we have here we have this A, it's on the ones place. Remember, take notes, the ones are worth one, which means that eight groups of one, eight times one equals eight. This eight, the value of it is eight. Next number, these are the tens. As you can imagine, the tens are worth 10, which means, which means that we have four groups of 10 and four times 10 equal 40. The value of this four is, what do you think it is? If you said 40, yes, you are on the right track. Let's move on to the hundreds. The hundreds, of course, are group of hundred. So you're gonna count 100, 200, 300, and on and on and on. Which means that this eight is eight groups of hundred. And eight times 100 is 
800. Therefore, the place value of this 8 is 800. Easy, right? Let's move on to the thousands period. Here we have the thousands. And there are a group of 1,000. I'm going to substitute the three zeros for the letter K because then I'm not going to have space to write so many zeros. So we have 1,000, which means that we have three groups of 1,000. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. If I want to do the multiplication, three times 1,000 equals 3,000. Remember to put digit, 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 comma, from right to left. And here the value is 3,000. Let's move to the 10,000s. As you can see, we also have a 3. But do you think the value of this 3 is the same as this one? Think about it. If you said no, you are on the right track. Let's see the value of these three. These are the 10,000. 10, 10,000. I'm going to replace the three zeros for the letter K. Now, I'm going to multiply three times 10,000, which means that the value of these three is 30,000. I don't know if you have noticed the pattern, but the only thing you need to do is drop the digit and then fill the right with zeros. Now, let's analyze these two numbers. Even though this is a three and this is also a three, the three on the thousands place, which is this one, is one tenth or 10 times smaller than the three on the 10 thousands place. Why is that? It is because this three is worth 3,000 and this three is worth 30,000. So this three is one tenth, this three, and this three is 10 times greater than this three. Now let's move on to the hundred thousands place. Now we have the hundred thousands place. This two is in the one hundred thousands place value, which means that we have two groups of what? One hundred thousand, which equals to two hundred thousand. You drop the digit and then fill the rest with zeros. It's really simple. Now, let's move on to the millions. We have five million. I'm gonna represent the million with the letter M, but I have a question for you. Do you know how many zeros are in one million? The answer is six. I'm gonna write the number one million here, and it's one comma zero 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 comma zero zero zero. This is one million, which means that this is five groups of one million, and therefore the value of this five is five. million. Now, let's go to the tens millions place. We have 10 million. I don't know if you have noticed, but this is also the same digit, five and five. Do you remember, are these two fives the same value? Well, I hope that you know by now that they are not. The value of this five is five million, and the value of this five, if it's in the 10 millions place, 
it means that it's five groups of 10 million, which is equal to 50 million. Remember, remember you just drop the digit five and fill the rest with zeros. Another thing that you need to notice is the pattern. We have the ones, tens, hundreds, and then these are the one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, and now we have one million, ten million. What do you think is the place value of this? If you said one hundred million, you are one hundred percent getting it all correct. The value of this six is in the hundred million place, which means that we have six groups of 100 million. Six times 100 million. Remember, it's six zeros. 100 million. Now we're gonna multiply six times 100 million, and that is equal to 600 million. Why? Because you count 100 million, 200 million, 300 million, 400 million, 500 million, and 600 million. Now we're gonna do the billion, and this is our last digit. We are in the billions place, which means that we have five groups of one billion. So we have to multiply five times one comma how many zeros are in one billion if you said nine you are 100 percent correct we have one and nine zeros that is one billion so now if you multiply one billion five times that is a wonderful quantity of five billion and as simple as that we have finished our first lesson now is your turn your mathematical challenge is i want you to write the name of this huge number leave it in the comments before we go, thank you for watching the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with other kids that are learning math. See you in the next video.